up delivering to my hood. Like something needs to change. Something needs to change. Cause wow. I actually really wanted McDonald's, but anyway. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So as you can see by the title, I'm doing a mukbang. Is it a mukbang or a mukbang or whatever? We're eating and talking. So sadly. I had to get Devon ears. Okay, it's not sad. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Because, Mr. D, I got a problem with y'all not delivering to my hood. Like, something needs to change. Something needs to change. Because, wow. I actually really wanted McDonald's. But anyway. So, we're going to eat Devon ears pizza with cold drink. And I'm going to... I have questions here. And we're going to answer... I'm going to answer the questions. You guys are not going to answer the questions. But anyway, guys, if you like my content, please like, comment, subscribe, share. And let's get into it. So, guys, I'm not going to use a plate because the box is here. So, I'm just going to choose random questions because it's going to be hard to read and eat at the same time. How do you feel about COVID? Guys, COVID is starting to bore me, name. I don't want to sound stupid, name, but like, COVID was exciting like last year during this time, like March vibes. COVID was excitingly scary. But like, now it's like, ah, ah, oh, COVID. COVID. Like, guys, I was expecting, you know, like, COVID was supposed to start, like, the chain reaction. Like, it's gonna first... Start Wait, I didn't close the door. I just closed the door. By the way, my door doesn't have a door angle, as you can see. But it's fine. It's okay. It's okay. As I was saying, like, I thought COVID was gonna start a chain reaction. Of that. It's first gonna be COVID, and then it's gonna be, like, zombie apocalypse. Or maybe, like, something serious. Okay, COVID is serious. Don't downplay COVID. COVID is serious. COVID is really serious, but I'm just saying it's getting boring now. Like, we're so used to it that it's like, ugh. Like, last year during March, there was like, you know? That's my take on COVID. Isn't it irritating watching people eat, though? I'm not COVID double, I don't Mmm. Mmm-mm-mm. I have a problem with this pizza. The Debanese sauce is too strong. The banana sauce is too strong, it's too strong, it's too strong. Okay, next question. Would you chase money over happiness? Yes. Money. Money will buy you happiness. Wow. So, guys, this is the thing I've been trying to get in my head that, like, I will love, never happiness. They don't buy food. So, I'd rather be miserable inside my mansion, knowing that I can call McDonald's. Or romance pizza and I'll be happy. Money. Mm -hmm. What was your hardest life challenge till this fall? I think it's realizing that not everybody is here for the long run. You know, like, you can feed people but not everybody can sit on your table type vibes. Like, I think it's one of those, it's like the hardest thing ever when you think you're someone's friend. And then someone does not believe that. It's so sad. So sad. So sad. So you pick yourself up after a mental breakdown. I think it's one of those things where I sit down with myself and I tell myself that, listen, like, it's okay. Like, let it all out. I feel like letting all your emotions out, talking about certain situations helps a lot. Like, it helps to talk about it a lot. And I feel like around me, I have a really strong support structure where I can go to someone and just cry and then be like, okay, thanks. Love you, though. You know? And I feel like when I'm in a mental breakdown, I know that things have to get better from here. Like, I, you cannot be mental breakdown, mental breakdown. And nothing good comes from it. Like, our, like um, one of my friends always says that things get worse before they get better. So that's my type of vibe. So it's basically, okay, Ayanda, dust yourself up. Dust yourself off, pick yourself up, and let's go. Let's go. Okay. Let's see. From a scale of 1 to 10, how strict are your parents? 100. 
Hundred. Okay. My mom's not strict. She is strict. My mom's one of those moms where you like, don't, don't, don't take me for granted. Like, don't, don't, don't talk tower on me. My mom's like the nicest mom ever. Like, my mom understands that, you know, I'm young. I'm social. You know, she'll be like, yo, if I, let's say, I want to go to like a gig. My mom will take me there. My mom will drive me to a club. And my mom will fetch me from a club. Because she understands that I'm at that, that level. That level, you already. Let's party. <laughs> you know, but there are boundaries. There are boundaries. That's why I, I like telling people that my mom's my best friend. But I'm scared of her. I'm scared of my mom. I'm not going to lie to anybody. So I grew up in a in a strict household, a disciplined household. That's what it is. Been eating. I'm busy reading here. The pizza here. Guys, like mushrooms. Tastes artificial. It tastes artificial. Okay. What great book have you read thus far? Um. Ooh, David Goggins' book "Can't Hurt Me." I think it's called "Can't Hurt Me." That's a really good book. That's a really good book. And um, right now I'm busy reading "The Power of the Psychological Power." Great book. You know. Ah, oh, what else have I read? Mm, 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 mm. I haven't been reading a my a lot this year. Mm. I like Bay by what's the lead Jackie Jackie Pamuti. I liked Bay. It opened my eyes. I love that book. Okay. Play you in a movie. If we're talking about celebrities name, nobody. <laughs> Celebrity wise, I feel like mm, I don't know. No, I know. Um, who's that lady in Black Panther? That like Black Panther's like right hand woman. Kinda, what's her name? Um, mm, can't you remember? I'm gonna put her name here. Her, she would do me real well. Like she would do me just as like. <laughs> and Raven, she would. But I want my friends. It's either uh, Karaba would do me a solid. <laughs> Karabo would play me. Karabo Karabo would play Karabo would in, embody me. <laughs> By the way, go check out Karabo's channel, okay? Those are them plug you. Okay. Next question. Next question. Next question. Guys, there's so many questions here. Yeah. I'm hungry. Mm, 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 mm. If you could live off one fast food joint or restaurant, which one would it be? Okay, I'm gonna do both for a fast food joint. I don't think it's fast food though, but like for a joint, mm, Burger King, Burger King. I know your guys are gonna come for me, yeah, yeah, Burger King, Burger King, guys. The bur like uh, Burger King and Pushers, and they're so friendly. Like that's why my food always tastes good because they're always friendly. Like, I don't want my food to be served with anger there at McDonald's. No. Mm -hmm. I think Burger King as a fast food restaurant, like... I just want to say, if you like food videos, man, I can do more. It's nice eating, guys. So... Yesterday, I was off to like this the tuck shop, this puzzle shop, name, and then this man, Zulu man, stops me. And he's like, hello, Osu Unjani. I'm like, I'm fine. He's like, come on, come on. I'm like, smongy, man. He's like, you're smongy, I'll say me with him. And I'm like, mm, thank you. So now, guys, I'm holding my phone in my hand, and those guys like, tell him I'm back. And I'm like, yo, I'm my phone. He's like, pretend it's like, I'm like, yo, I'm like, yo, like, yo, he's like, okay, you put my number out. I'm like, yo, I'm not going to talk. No? And he's like, oh, you're going to kill me. And I give him the wrong numbers. Oh, of course, I give him the wrong numbers. Does he not call the number? Yo, oh, this guy. He calls the number. And he's like, sis, let me know seven. And I'm like, go. And I'm like, no. It's my other phone number, like, you know, your phone, can I back up? Okay, 
hey, it's my other phone number. He's like, oh, you pay the number, your phone, you pay her, and I'm like, yeah. I give him the number. It's fine. I give him the number. He calls me. For, don't forget it's a Zulu man. He calls me. And he's like, hello, Spongine. I think his name was Nkuluego or something like that. Someone along those lines. I'm like, hello, how are you? But he's like, sissy. He has not to cook the lela name Maramina. I see Mlungu. He has to cook Mlungu now. I dropped. I dropped the call. Droppy. Drop, drop. You know when you when you used to play Black Man Party, the drop drop <laughs> looks so ombre. So guys, this is the foundation palette. It goes from light to medium to dark. <laughs> Pizza, and then I'm like, ah, oh, let's do a map. You guys know how that turned out. Yeah, how was your day? Really. That's great. <laughs> okay. Do you know that Dr. Fuel is not a real doctor? <gasps> I'm so hurt. If you've gotten this far in the video, please comment, Pizza. And why don't you... It was so nice talking to you guys, hey? And eating pizza. I hope you were eating pizza, because... Have you ever, I've ever noticed, every time I watch these mukbang videos, guys, it's like at 2 o'clock at night, you know? And then I'm hungry, and I'm watching two people eat pizza, and McDonald's, and McDonald's, you know? So, yeah. Mm. If you're watching this at 2 o'clock at night, thank you for watching my video. And to all the people that subscribe, thank you so much, guys. Like, I feel like I haven't thanked you guys in a video. Thank you so much for subscribing. Guys, this is the end of the video. Like. Comment. Subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one. I love you.